Here's an ethical question we don't talk about enough, and that is, should doctors be using botulinum toxins that may cause immunity to the treatment in the future? That is, would you use a drug where you need more of it and more of it to get the same effect, and in some cases may eventually sort of not work at all? Well, most people don't realize that toxins aren't all the same. Some contain extra complex in proteins, others don't. And those complex in proteins may increase the chance of your immune system forming antibodies against the treatment. And why does that matter? Because antibodies can make your treatment stop working, partially or completely. And here's the dilemma for, for doctors. If a toxin has a known preventable risk of stimulating immunogenicity, is it ethical to keep using it without discussing that risk with our patients? For me, uh, transparency is important and matters. Patients deserve to know whether the toxin is just a purified molecule or whether it comes packaged with unnecessary proteins uh, their immune system might react to. This isn't about saying one brand is good and another brand is bad. It's just about long-term outcomes, informed consent, and respecting the patient's right to choose what goes into their body. So here's a real ethical question. If immunogenicity is preventable, shouldn't we prevent it? It's time we had this conversation openly for our patient's sake.